Hello, welcome back to a new vlog. So we are actually in Koh Lanta now. We got the ferry from PP this morning. Um, our ferry was 450 baht each and it's like a 30, 35 minute speedboat over to Koh Lanta and then we got a taxi from the pier to our hotel and it was 400 baht for the both of us. So we're staying in Pinky Bungalows and I'll just show you around the room. I think it was, do you was like 13 pound a night? 12 or 13 pound a night. So, so cheap and the room's actually so nice, it's massive. So this is the wee outdoor bit. We actually just booked an armor room and then they upgraded us to the bungalow. So that's like the wee outdoor bit. And this is the room. Like it's actually huge, like look how much space we have. We have like an actual wardrobe. All this. And this is the bathroom, like huge. So this is like all the wee bungalows. So cute. This is the pool area. I think we were meant to be in one of those rooms up there. Then they just moved us to the bungalow. Okay, this is the gym. There is literally like no floor room. So we were planning to do a session, but like, how are you meant to do anything on this? Going for some lunch. Okay, maybe not. Don't think it's open. Oh my God. We just came to our second place and it's closed as well. This place is a complete ghost town, like... I should really want to buy it. What the hell? Third restaurant closed. What are we meant to eat? What the hell? Finally, the only place that was open. We were trying to book a boat to Koh Tai because we're going there in like two days. Um, and we asked our hotel and she got us from a die. 7,500. 7,500. I was like, I gasped when she said it. Um, we were like, absolutely no way. She tried to tell us there was no like buses, that you had to get your own private one. Um, and then we went to another boy, quoted us 1,400 each, some difference. And then we went to another girl and she quoted us 950. So I think we need to get a bus to like the pier at that side and then get a ferry. So like it's going to take us ages to be fair but we just don't know how much we should be paying and I'm trying to Google it and I'm just not finding anything like. And we're like, oh, if we go for the cheaper one, are we gonna get like a pure shite bus? Like, do you know what I mean? But it's just so confusing. And also it's so much dear here than I remember. Like the prices for boats and taxis and all is so much dearer than ballet. And we're spending more money than we were. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, Dougie attempted to go to the gym there, but the electricity wasn't on, and like he's going to go on the treadmill, so couldn't do that. Um, we're doing laundry Sorry. now, and then we're just going to get on the bike and explore. So yeah, we got that bike for three hundred because we're going to give it back like tomorrow night. So we'll only have it for, like a day and a half. Most like everyone else was putting us two hundred a day, so basically the same. Um, but yeah, we're just going to go on the bike and just see where we end up. No plans whatsoever. We've brought stuff. If we end up at the beach, we'll see. You have to be joking me. You have to be actually taking the piss out of me. Oh my god. One thing I've actually noticed about Thailand, which is really surprising, is the amount of plastic they use. Like, I've just got a Fanta here and like she put a straw on the top and Dougie's got a juice and like she put a straw on it like there's just no need and like see when you go to 7-Eleven and you get like a toasty made they'll like put it in a bag even though like they've heated it up for you so you, they know you're going to eat it right now they'll like put it in a bag um so they actually use loads of plastic here which is Bally's like the complete opposite um so yeah quite surprising but this wee viewpoint is lovely just stopping for a wee drink and then we're gonna drive some more
finally made it to the beach. We were driving around there for ages and I had like a beach saved on my phone. So I said, right, we'll just go there. Couldn't find how to get onto it. Literally Google Maps just wasn't, wasn't taking us to it. was taking, like, taking us to some resort or something. Whatever, we're like, right, we'll go back to stay at the beach at like the place we're staying at. It's called Klong Klong. Um, couldn't find how to get onto it. Literally Google Maps again took us to some, re some resort and we were like, what the hell? Yeah, to keep it on his seen this phone something kind of beautiful beach so that's where we're at there's literally no one here like there was no one on the roads there's like oh my god this place is like a deserted island that's what it actually feels like um but like i heard such good reviews about Colanta, but so far it's just kind of like what sort of do you know that sort of way um so yeah it's like part of us four now we'll probably chill here for a while go back get shirt try and go somewhere for sunset Yeah, like I had like four restaurants saved in my phone too. Went to all of them today, all closed. I don't know if they're just closed because it's Sunday. Is that a thing? I don't know. Or they're just like not open. So we're just leaving now to go see sunset. We're just going to go back to the beach we were at earlier um, because we know how to get to it. And then we're going to go up to like the top of the island and see what that's like and then go for dinner. But yeah, we were just watching like YouTube videos there and trying to research what we're doing next because we're so confused. I feel like we say that every night. Yeah, we're gonna research research what we're doing next, but yeah, we've no idea where we're going next and what we're, we're doing. doing. We're going to Copenhagen. I know, we're, but we're trying to figure out what, because like, like, fair enough, going somewhere, but like, where makes sense? Because like, we're going up north in like a week, so like, should we go somewhere that we can fly up north or blah blah blah? And then we're like, we weren't going to go to Bangkok, and then we're like, well, we'll go to Bangkok. So yeah. Don't know, honestly, I have no idea. But also, every room should have this, like a water fight outside, so you can get sand on your room. This middle back, right? Can you see that? We should be in Koh Yang right now, celebrating so fun. Most people like, you know, give out their, what do you, what do you do in Fulman? They like write down what they're grateful for and shit and what they want to manifest. I'm just like, we should go party in Koh Phangan. <laughs> trying to pick something to eat for dessert. So I put this. Then I'm actually gonna try one of these be desserts. Just ever hand chocolate. What well, is a souffle pudding? Chocolate cake and then black forest. Don't know what to do. Don't need any of it, but sure. I went for the chocolate cake. Let's do a taste test. Look at this. <laughs> you done? <laughs> oh, I did. I was just trying to open that and I fucking broke it. I was going to say, oh, they give me a spin. Oh, it's broke now. I'm just so strong. Right, let's do a taste test. I'm actually not even hungry, like, even slightly. I didn't eat it for like an hour after we gone. That's nice to be fair. There's like mousse in the top of it. Here it's nice. Thumbs up for me. Okay, so it's nearly the afternoon and we're still on the room because, because it has been lashing since like five or six this morning. That dry hasn't stopped. It's like thundering this morning as well. Um, but we were actually going to book a boat trip today and thank God we didn't because that would have just been a disaster. It was in like one of the long tail boats so wouldn't fancy being on that in like the middle of a storm but we might just have to brave it to go get food now because i'm absolutely starving sample of my chai what chai i think that's how you say it actually it's really good we got one of these when we were in pp because we had like a free we were able to use a free one I just thought it would be especially yummy. Oh my god, this jam on this bread is the nicest thing I've ever tasted. It's raspberry jam. Mm. We have self service petrol stations. How cool you just put the money in 
there. Then it works out. Fuck, I hope I didn't put in too much. It's gonna overflow. True. Okay, so there's Tesco's and Colanta. How random. Let's go in and see what it's like. I mean, it's not like Tesco's at home, but... Hi. What the hell? How insane does that look? We just drove down so yesterday we drove like the like the west side of the island um down to the bottom you can't actually drive like the whole way around because of the national park but this time we drove the other side down just until the national park it was unreal um drove past monkeys did you see that snowmo video i don't mean to do snowmo um and like the forest like how high it was off like the but we are at bamboo beach now we just drove past the entrance to it so we're like right we'll just drive down literally the only people here like genuinely there is no one else here like I assume this used to be like a cafe or a bar or something, it's not even open. Insane, what do you see it? The sand is so soft on your feet. It's like not too warm that like you can, can't walk on. But this is our station. Right, we found some coconuts. Doogie's gonna try and open them. How did the boy do it? He had a oh, did I? <laughs> Where's the water? I think because it fell and cracked it a bit. Yeah, but it wouldn't have got all the water out of it. Fresh. Couldn't get any fresher than that. Jesus, run. We don't know how long that's been sitting there. <laughs> we just seen it lying. Jesus! I really thought there'd be a pile of water in it though. Bear grills. <laughs> Is it nice? It's no. Look at all the monkeys. So many of them, literally just at the side of the road, what the hell. We just booked our boat to go to Koh Yang tomorrow, um, so yeah we used this company here, I'll put it in, and we paid 900 baht each. We were, were getting quoted like 1,200 and 1,100, but we got it for 900 with her, um, so yeah. I think we have to get a bus to Krabi and then we get on a bigger bus from Krabi to the other side um, and then we get a ferry. Doogie insisted we got cheesy chips. <laughs> How random is that? Okay, we're in getting snacks because our journey tomorrow is quite long. We're leaving this at 7.30 so not gonna have time for breakfast. So I've got myself a wee protein shake. No idea what it's gonna be like. Hopefully it's nice. These banana muffins, nine fat. I think that, I think that's what they like. 20 beer or something, I'm sure, but really cheap, and a banana. So yeah, hopefully that dog is mine. You can also do apple pie in 7-Eleven, cool. Okay, so I'm just gonna end this vlog now because we're just back in the room. Still haven't booked a hotel for tomorrow. Need to do that, but um, yeah, my impressions in Colanta, not my favorite place I've ever been to. Um, it's very chill, there's not much going on. There's not that many like cafes, restaurant bars. We also find it quite hard to like get places. Like there was a few bars that people had recommended um, like on the beach, but every time we put it on our Google Maps, it like wouldn't take us to the right place. 
um, and there was a few times it like told us to stop somewhere but it was just like a random field and you had to like walk and we didn't want to leave our bike there because if our bike got stolen we had to pay like 38,000 to do you know what I mean so it was a bit annoying that way um, but it is like a unreal island like the views were amazing and stuff but don't think I'd go back to be honest um, but yeah if you like just a completely chill out laid back place I would recommend um but yeah we're going to Copanyang tomorrow and I'm actually raging because it's literally full moon party tonight and we're going tomorrow what bad planning but like we wouldn't have been able to like get there in time we would have had to like miss out on a place or something which is a bit annoying but um yeah so that'll be my next vlog so yeah I hope you enjoyed this vlog um and I'll see you in my next one bye